one player that we certainly don't think is going to back down at all. Masashi Oya, I think he's just going to be out there firing away with this chip lead. Really put the pressure on his opponents. Here he's coming in with a raise from the cutoff seat. Earlier in this hand, you saw Isaac Haxton fold under the gun ace eight off, where if Haxton has the chip stack that Masashi does, maybe Haxton comes in with a raise there, right? But here, you know, Haxton's going to take the conservative approach. Bonomo electing to call King Seven of Hearts out of the small blind. Now it's on Daniel. No need to get too crazy for Negranu. Comes along as well. Three-way action here to the flop. Both blinds involved. Wow, look at that. Ace, King, four. Top pair and the nut flush draw for Negranu. Oh, yeah. The same top pair, same kicker, but does not have the flush draw. Also an interesting spot for Bonomo. Second pair against a very aggressive chip leader in late position. And Negranu can really have a pretty wide range there from the, the big blind. So... Bonomo's got second pair with the backdoor nut flush draw. And of course, nothing strange about Oya continuing here. Playing against two players in the blinds, his A6 is going to be good quite a good, a good amount of the time. Like you said, Donnie, can't fault Bonomo either here for tagging along. <coughs> Interesting spot here now for Negranu. Just comes with the call. How do you feel about this, Donnie? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't mind it. I mean, it's kind of a tricky spot. Yeah, of course you have. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, turn up the volume. We might see some fireworks here as Bonomo rips off a third king. Both Negranu and Oya with an ace. Negranu not drawing dead. He still has the nut flush draw. And we could see the action get checked around here as it is now on Oya with a six. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how aggressive Oya wants to be, but I, I would expect him to check here. I mean, his kicker is really nothing in this spot, so. Big river card coming up. It is the deuce of diamonds. Bonomo is going to get the check mark against two players with a pair of aces. Negrano's ha hand very much under repped. He's probably going to think that no one is going to give him credit for a hand this strong. Bonomo, perhaps, might have the others thinking that he's going to steal the pot here. Four fifty. Four fifty is the bet from Bonomo. It's a healthy bet here. Just, you know, I think Negroni might find a fold here. Yeah, that's about half his stack. Oh yeah, on the other hand, I mean, could pay this off here. I mean, very, very well done from Negranu. Calls one street, sees a free river card, and just gets away from it that quickly. I'm impressed. Always hard when you're an aggressive player, when you're a chip leader like Masashi is, to flop top pair and, and ultimately get away from it. I know, you know, like you're... A lot of times you're just not supposed to have it, and then you have something, and it's like, well, you know, what's going on here? But I'm still thinking about how quickly the Granu folded here. And Oya grabbing chips to make the call. And there it is. He tosses them in. Bonomo is going to receive a very big pot and a big smirk <laughs> on the face you of the Granu. You saw that, yeah. <laughs> oh, his lips are burning. Of course, we are live. And Isaac Haxton applies the pressure on the blinds, moves all in for a oh, million. Wow. And Dennis Milkovic snap calls with ace king offsuit. Isaac Haxton all in with pocket fours. Smilkovic here in a great spot to send one of the best in the world to the rail. But he still has to hit to improve his hand. Haxton unfazed by the showdown. This man has seen it all. 
And what he would really like to see right now is a four on the table. All right, here comes the flop. Can Haxton stay alive? Five, Jack, seven. Favorable flop for the pocket pair. Smokovic has a diamond, has backdoor Broadway as well. So still a few more options here besides, of course, the ace or the king. Turn card is the ace of clubs. And that all but does it for Isaac Haxton, who is down to two outs. One of the two remaining fours are needed. It's a three of it's spades on the river. Yeah, yeah. Isaac Haxton yeah. hits yeah, the rail. Yeah, yeah. No lucky That's shirt, no win for Isaac Haxton as he is our seventh place finisher. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's enough scams going around these days, right? <laughs> David Peters here moving all in with ace 10 offsuit. Smilkovich looking down at king queen off. Peters all in for fewer than 10 big blinds. And queen off. Got kind of tricky in the spot. Might be deemed too good. Also not something that you're like just totally fist pumping about because you are going to be behind some ace highs. I mean, Smilkovic clearly happy to get it in here. Did not take that long to commit his chip. So we're going to see an all-in showdown here. David Peters tournament life on the line. Haley might have to adjust her wedding planning. <laughs> Based on the money, he's not going to win unless, of course, he survives this one. Smilkovic looking for a king or a queen to send Peters to the rail. So far, 60-40. Peters ahead in this classic coin flip situation. Let's see if Peters can fade the kings and the queens. Perhaps some straight possibilities as well. Here comes the flop. Ace, 10, 5, two pair for Peters, meaning that Smilkovic now looking for a jack to make a straight. Reduced outs for the German as Sashi Oya gives us some musical support here by slapping the chips together and a jack hits on the turn and all of a sudden David Peters down to four outs or he'll walk off set to collect his payout in this event. River card is the deuce of hearts and that is it for david peters wow after flopping two pair smilkovich drills his straight on the turn and all of a sudden we are down to the final five david peters 10th on poker's all-time money list he's seen it all before but he will not be happy driving home tonight Wow, pocket queens here for Justin Bonomo, raising it up with the ladies. And uh -oh. ace king for Negranu. Here <laughs> we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we might see some fireworks here. Bonomo has Negranu covered. Negranu with ace king. And Negranu probably just puts this in here. Absolutely massive implications here as we are likely to see a massive coin One. flip there it between is. two of the most accomplished tournament players in the history of the game. A snap call from Justin Bonomo, and we have the fairest of all fights, ace-king versus queens, at the final table of the PGT Last Chance event number one. Bonomo has Negranu covered. Not by much, but he does have him covered, so Negranu is the player at risk here. Whoever wins yeah, this is going to be among the favorites to take this one down. If Bonomo loses, he's also going to be left with hardly any chips. Let us know in the chat who you're rooting for. Massive coin flip playing out here I cover. inside the PokerGo studio. Queens for Bonomo, Ace King for Negranu. Here comes the flop. King Jack, five, two hearts. Negranu has the bigger heart, but more importantly, flops top pair, top kicker, and the frown on Bonomo's face says it all. Turn card. 
the four of hearts. Hearts not in play. Bonimo looking for one of the two remaining queens in the deck. Nearly three million chips in the middle here. Can Bonimo find it? It is not there. Daniel Negreanu secures a massive double up here, Seven, courtesy million, of Justin four, Bonimo. Absolutely enormous pot here with five remaining players at this final table. $218,000 up for grabs for the winner. The pain of losing a flip will always outweigh the joy of winning one. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. We have 19 days of streaming over the course of the next month, so turn on the notification bell so you know when we are live. All in here from Jonathan Cohen, two nines in Bonomo. Has a couple of sixes. Six, six, six. So wait, Cohen has 660,000 chips left, while Bonimo has two sixes? Correct. I, I don't know, man. That's <laughs> kind of crazy. Bonimo does go for it with his sixes. And the Grando finds no ace, jack of spades. Yeah. Two for one? On 660. 660? Mm -hmm. He's got chips now to take a shot here if he wants to. Looks like he's getting out the exact amount of the 660. That is the larger shove from Cohen. Negreanu does make the call. Wow. Milkovic out of the way, folding one of those jacks. Masashi folds two spades. Here we go. Three-way all-in. Jonathan Three. Cohen and Justin Bonomo are at risk versus Daniel Legrandu. Wow. Could this be the start of a turnaround as it pertains to Daniel Legrandu on the life felt? 2023 was not his year. 2024 could be off to a hot start if he sends two players to the rail here, right after doubling through Justin Bonomo. Negrano, of course, has both these players covered by a wide margin, looking for an ace or a jack or some spades. Let's see the flop. It is 4-7-3, favorable flop for Cohen. Not bad for Bonomo, all things considered. You know, he adds a five there. Could make a straight now. Yeah, Cohen looking for the knockout and the double up all at the same time. Turn card is the queen of spades. It is paint. It is spades, but it is not what Negrano was looking for. Outs remain unchanged. Bonomo looking for a five or a six. Negrano looking for an ace or a jack. River card wow. is the five of clubs. And Justin Bonomo triples up by making a straight on the river. Jonathan Cohen now down to very few big blinds, and Bonomo almost back to square one. If I was a poker player, and I could pick my own nickname, Billy Binks is high on the list. That's a <coughs> great name. <coughs> Oh yeah, here raising it up with 10-7 offsuit. Cohen moving all in with ace five of spades. Another spot where Masashi might just feel like he's priced in, and there it is. There's the call. He's gonna be happy to see that he's got two live ones. Yeah, 10-7 versus ace five almost feels like a fair fight. Cohen looking for his ace high to hold up. Oya trying to get this event down to the final four. All right, here comes the flop. King, eight, seven, and Masashi Oya takes the lead with a pair of sevens. Bad news for Cohen, who's looking for an ace and an ace only, or potentially 
some backdoor cards to make a straight. Otherwise, he will be our fifth place finisher. Turn card. The Jack of Spades that reduces his outs to just three on the river. Jonathan Cohen from Canada. River card, seven of spades, and that'll do it. Jonathan Cohen was one card away from sending Bonomo to the rail and doubling through Daniel Negreanu, but a five on the river gave Justin Bonomo a straight. And just two hands later, he finds himself on the rail, and we are down to the final four players. All right, how many hands? How many hands? Really was a, you know, a great showing from three. Jonathan Cohen. I know ultimately didn't work out Only in three. his favor, but... Didn't have a lot of chips to work with for, for this final table, but did the best he could and just got unlucky in the end. What are you going to do? That's tournament enough, poker. Wow. Make the call. Bottom makes the call and is dominated wow. by Oya. <laughs> Worst case scenario for Bonomo, who was hoping for two live cards at the very least. Oya has the upper hand here with A6 versus King 6. Bonomo looking for a king to stay alive. Here comes the flop. Queen, queen, nine on the flop. Two clubs. Clubs not in play here. Yeah, let's just chop it up. Nine, nine, okay? No. Bonomo looking for a way out. Six, six. He needs some help. Queen on the turn. Is not going to make any difference here. Bonomo is still looking for Only a king. Six. River card is the four of diamonds. And that is it for Justin Bonomo. Quite the roller coaster for him at this final table. He departs in fourth place. Bonomo collects a bunch of points in his race to make the top 40 of the PGT Championship standings. Tonight, however, he collects forty. Uh, excuse me, ninety-one thousand dollars. <laughs> wow! Couple of jacks. Monster pair here for the German and Couple Oya. Couple of sixes. Sixes, yeah. A little trappy trap as well from Smilkovic, who's been very aggressive leading up to this point. Sort of surprised to see him limp here. And Oya feels the same way. By the way, look at that bling on the wrist there. Is that a Rolex? Looked very nice. A little double check here from Smilkovic. How big is this re-raise going to be? For some reason, I always feel like this approach signals strength. Like, why would you be messing around in this spot, given... The ground is stack size. Sure, but if you know, we, we've seen him mess around. And, True. and Masashi knows he can mess around. He, he four bet earlier and snap folded, right, when Masashi jammed on him. So Masashi is probably aware that, yeah, he, he doesn't necessarily have to have a premium here. Hands that Masashi does well against that Smilkovic could take the line with here, similar to this, ace-5 suited, ace-4 suited, stuff like that. Masashi's got a good hand to go up against those. Burning some clock himself, trying to decide, is this going to be the one? Can I call here in position? Given the, the relatively small wow. free, free raise here, I mean, I was going to say, Masashi could certainly call because these two are deep enough. Meanwhile, Negranu off camera, probably rubbing his hands together. <laughs> yeah, he's Very like, you know, just play a 9 million chip pot, guys. <laughs> go, go nuts. Yeah, just I'll just watch. No big deal. I'll take the page up and the points. Here comes the flop. Big flop incoming. Wow. Four, five, seven. Open and it's straight draw for Oya. Over pair for Smilkovic. Two million in the middle. Woo. This yeah, could get like really this big. This goes in here. It's 400,000. Yeah, comes small. 20%. Yeah, very small here from Smilkovic. Is this almost too small, Donnie, to jam on this? How strong is it going to look if he makes it whatever? 900 or a million? Oh, wow. He shoves. Snap call by Smilkovic. $9 million. Donnie, you predicted this. All the money is in the middle. Can I get a shot of Daniel Negreanu? There it is. He is stoic, but he is loving this. 
whatever happens, either we're down to heads up or we're three-handed with Smilkovich down to 375k. Masashi Oya has 10 outs twice here to hit a set or a straight. It's a rake in an absolutely massive double up and grab an enormous heads up chip lead. Ace of spades on the turn. That is not going to do it. Oya needs to hit or else he will be eliminated. Smilkovic still in the lead with his pair of jacks. River card is the jack of spades adding insult to injury. A set on the river for Smilkovic. We're just going to verify these stacks here, but it seems as though Daniel Negreanu is now heads up with Daniel Smilkovic. Grani going to limp call here on the button with the queen eight off. Shmilkovic has the four deuce off. Off to a flop we go. More than a million in there. King nine four. Two hearts. Shmilkovic checking his bottom pair. Negroni checks back. Queen on the turn. That puts Daniel Negreanu back out in front. He's got the better pair, pair of queens. Yeah. Another check here from Smilkovic. Another check back from Negreanu. King pairs the board on the river. Negreanu's hand is best as long as he doesn't fold here. Sizable seven-figure pot out there for the taking. Yeah. Is Negreanu going to go for some value here? Looks like he is. 450 is the bet. About 40% pot here from Daniel. Cool. Shmilkovich is going to pay it mm -hmm. off. And here we go. Daniel Negreanu takes the chip lead, heads up, wow, against Daniel Shmilkovich. About 40% of the chips in play, so things haven't been going his way in these, these most recent hands, but... <coughs> you know, it's kind of just the ups and downs of tournament poker. Shmilkovic certainly not out, not out of it in the slightest. But Daniel here. Oh, my God. Ace, king, on the button. What more can you wish for in tournament play than to pick up a monster right after having taken the lead here during the heads-up portion of the tournament? And Jack-Jack-10 rolls off the deck. And Negreanu limped in on the button pre-flop. Shmilkovic checked the jack deuce. Wow. Shmilkovic smashes this flop. Perhaps Negreanu saving grace here that he only has a gut shot at, at this point. And Negreanu betting here, but likely going to call a check raise. Got enough of a hand here to be able to continue with this one. His hand could also just be good, right? You know, there are some hands that Shmilkovic might just be betting. Maybe Daniel thinks there's a chance that, you know, the ace or the king are good as well. A queen, of course, would seal it here for Negreanu. There's still, of course, the outside chance that Shmilkovic could have hit a full house in that case, but at this point of the hand, a queen is the only card that can save Negreanu. See 
what sort of sizing Shmilkovic wants to come with here. Going a little bit larger here. Looks like 1.3. Does the Grunner still think that his hand can be strong here? Yeah, I mean, th there are some, some hands in Shmilkovich's range where he's going to check raise that include, you know, backdoor clubs that can turn some ad additional equity, right? The Grunner is seriously considering something here, facing a bet of 1.3 million. Not too long ago, Negrano was down to just a few big blinds. Now, all of a sudden, contemplating playing an enormous pot here. And we can see that he only has four outs against the trips of his opponent. Negrano, oh, wow, he moves all in. Yep. Smilkovich snaps it off. And Daniel Negrano looking for a queen and a queen only to win this one. If the queen doesn't come, Smilkovich will have a massive chip lead and all of a sudden the roles will reverse. Four outs for Kit Poker to seal the deal here. Only 9% chance though. Massive long shot for Negranu to take this one down. River card. Ooh. Is a queen! Oh, oh there it is! I got it. felt it. Lucky, Again. lucky year. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I don't know what I'm doing on the turn. He said, "Fuck it. <laughs> if you got a jack, take my buddy." Yeah, I win. Cool. Nice. So I, yeah, first time I won the first tournament of the year in my life. It's cool. Fun. Okay, what now? Give me some money. <laughs> wow, Daniel Legrand who closes it out in style, if you want to call it that. Binks the queen on the river. What an absolutely epic way to close this thing out. What an awesome final table this was. My name is Rem Karinka, my Donnie Peters alongside me. We'll be back with more action tomorrow from the PGT, a last chance here at the Pokego Studio in Las Vegas. What an awesome night it has been. Thank you all so much for watching. Congrats to Daniel Negreanu. We'll see you guys tomorrow.